Hello everybody, welcome back to Philly Sports Era. Today we got another game recap. And um, this is a video that I was not expecting to make when I just made my Joel Embiid uh, video last night. I was not expecting to hop onto here and um, talk about how the Phillies managed to get three hits against the Arizona Diamondbacks, um, who were, before this game, were 38 and 81. The worst record in baseball. The Phillies managed to get three hits, two runs, off the Arizona Diamondbacks. How sad is that? You tell me how sad that is. The Phillies went from winning eight straight games, you know, sweeping um, division rivals, which is not easy to do in 2021, no matter how bad the team is. Everybody knows how to play each other. They swept them out easily. But they can't take care of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Three hits. Meanwhile, the Braves continue to stay hot. They have won eight of their last ten games. And I think they have won six straight games. I don't want to say that this will pretty much knock us out of the playoffs. It won't. And it doesn't. Because it's still early. It's August. But performances like this really does make you think. Can this team even hang on there and make the playoffs with the Braves playing pretty good baseball right now? And they're getting healthy. They're getting healthy. They got Tuki Toussaint. He's a good pitcher. They got Huascar Yanoa. Um, who just pitched amazing. And the Phillies can't get more than three hits against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, the Diamondbacks had um, Taylor Widener pitching. Um, and on my other computer, while I got you here, I'm going to look up Tyler Widener. And I'm going to see his stats for this year. I'm going to see what he's done. Let's see. Tyler Wadner. He was 1-1 one and, one and has a 4.53 ERA. He has 55 strikeouts. And he got five of them last, line, last night. I want this Phillies team to make the playoffs. I really do. Just like every other Phillies fan would. But it's going to be hard to make the playoffs when, when this team can't play. They can't beat good teams. I mean, they can't beat bad teams. And that is a humongous red flag. Humongous. I mean... Kyle Gibson won six innings, allowed seven hits. Um, he allowed more than double. The amount of hits that the Phillies offense got. He had three and gave up three earned runs. He walked two batters and struck out five. JD Hammer came in and was amazing. Two innings, four strikeouts. I just remember how how fun it was to watch this team on its eight game win streak. It was fun. My whole family was watching the Phillies every night. Because they were they were fun to watch. I came home from work and I was excited to watch the Phillies. And that Mets game when Ian Kennedy struck out the side. That was exciting. I, I felt something within me. I felt different. I felt, wow. For the first time in my life, that, I, that I'm aware of. I can watch the Phillies play playoff baseball. But games like this where we lose to the Diamondbacks, I, I'm not, this is not even an overestimate. Because we've seen this before. We've seen this where they, they, they just can't beat bad teams. 
when it matters. We don't, we do close to nothing at the deadline. We don't have a farm system, I know. But we have players that teams wanted. We could have had Byron Buxton, who was literally in the MVP race before he got hurt. And we don't want to give up a high school pitcher, Mick Abel, who really ha has struggled in the minors. He can't handle his command. He has an above four earned run average. And he's in, he just finished high school. And, and we just drafted another high school pitcher, so you think that you would just swap one of them for one of the best in the league, one of the best center fielders. And you know that we have a massive hole at center field. But you don't trade the 19-year-old. How good can he possibly be that you don't trade him for Byron Buxton? Who's going to be under contract? Do we trade for him in the offseason? Probably not. Because the Twins are probably going to lock him up. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. I just can't get over the fact that we got, we got three hits. You know, you might say, oh, Ben, you're, pr you're probably just going to be excited tomorrow when we beat the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I'm going to be excited because my, my, my favorite baseball team won a game. I'm going to be excited. But losses are a lot more harder to take in at this point in the season. When we are in a divisional race and there's a chance that we can make the playoffs. I don't care if we don't do crap in the playoffs. I just want to make the playoffs. I want to buy a hat that says NLE Champions 2021. I want to feel that. I know every other single young Phillies fan is with me on that. We just want to have that experience. We want to sit in our houses in October when the leaves are falling. We want to sip on some hot chocolate by the fire. You know, and wa when watch the Phillies, watch Citizens Bank Park be filled with um, seats and have those little ribbons, red, white, and blue ribbons on the decks. We, everyone wants to see that. But we, we can't beat teams like the Diamondbacks. We, we get three hits. So I'm, I'm not going to be depressing this whole time. Let's, let's talk about what went right. J.D. Hammer continues to impress this year. Bryce Harper had another home run. Um, Didi had the only other hit, and Brad Miller also had a hit. It's sad to watch. Um, this Phillies team just struggle like they have. You just go from eight straight. I'm, I'm, I'm going back on the bad side already. You go from winning eight straight games to totally collapsing. Just like that. And you coll and it's not even, like I said in my other video, I think in the Dodgers um, recap. Some good teams, when they come off a hot streak, you know, they gradually just die down. But no, the Phillies. Someone came up under them and chopped their legs off. Do I want to bring up the deadline again? I, I do. Trade away Spencer Howard for Kyle Gibbs. Spencer Howard. Spencer Howard was a project player. He had potential. We saw what he could do through the first couple innings. And if we were patient with him, and we just let him sit in AAA and just work on his stamina... If we just wait until next year to get a new coaching staff down there and really just specifically work with Spencer Howard. Spencer Howard could be another great piece. But now we have Kyle Gibson allowing seven hits and three earned runs um, to the league's worst Arizona Diamondbacks. Who, I mean, I'm a baseball fan and I know a pretty good amount of players. There is not that many big name players on this Diamondbacks team. 
Tel Marte, David Peralta. That, that's that's really it. I don't get it. So, on the good note, you should be expecting a video either today or tomorrow. I'm going to be collaborating with Philly's Hot Stove. I'm very excited um, to get that video. We're going to do a little live stream at 2 o'clock. Um, a Zoom call at 2 o'clock. Um, so you guys should be expecting that video either tonight or tomorrow or sometime during the week. I'm not too sure how the uploading process is going to go. But um, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thank you guys for letting me rant to you real quick um, about the Phillies losing to the Diamondbacks 3-2. to two. And we are now two and a half games out of first place. Thank God the Mets are struggling because if we would have let the Mets hop back over us, I probably would have went into a deep depressive state of mind. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, and as always, have a good one.